Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Superpower User. This is the part two of the build for the third gen Threadripper uh, build that I'm doing. In this video, I'm gonna be mounting the motherboard into the motherboard tray and then get the tray into the computer. And before that, I'm gonna to have to mount the M.2 SSD on the backside of this motherboard. So let's get to it. A couple of videos back in the first look of the motherboard, I've already mounted the two M.2 uh, SSDs on the front side in the, in the two bottom slots around the PCIe area. I also said that I would be mounting another M.2 on the back side of this motherboard and <clears throat> we have to do that now before I get this thing mounted into the tray where we lose access to the back side of the, of the motherboard. This one has a electrical switch uh, that you can completely turn off, interestingly. And what I plan on doing is installing a Mac OS partition or installation on this SSD while running the Windows on the other two SSDs in RAID 0. So uh, that way we can get the complete separation of operating systems. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. The drive that I plan on installing is the Samsung 960 Pro M.2 SSD, the one terabyte version. This used to be the old boot drive of my old computer. So uh, since I've picked up two 970 EVO Pluses, they're on the front side, gonna be running in RAID 0 as the main Windows partition. I get to play around with whatever you know on this thing. I plan on using this as the scratch drive or uh, throw away partition drive. We can, be in, we can install Linux on this, we can install um, Mac OS and whatever. Because of the shield here, there's a little gap and a little lip so that there's actually space for the M.2 SSD so that it doesn't actually touch anything. The Case Labs case that I've got here has a special motherboard tray <clears throat> that I can, where I can install the motherboard onto it and then slide it into the case, which is a really nice design. Before we install the motherboard onto the motherboard tray, I need to move this standoff from here to here because of the configuration of the motherboard. Because of the big VRM heatsink, we can't, there isn't actually a screw hole here. And uh, on the last motherboard, because of the chipset heatsink or what water block, I didn't use this standoff. So we're gonna move this to here. So that's kind of strange actually. You see, you see this screw right here? This screw uh, wasn't long enough and I don't know if it's the board that is flexed or whatever. I had to push down really hard to be able to get that screw to contact with the socket. And now it is, but I think I'm only maybe two or three threads in and it's, and it's um, I don't want to push anymore or I don't want to screw down anymore. Otherwise, you know, you'll start flexing the board. So uh, I guess it's in and it'll work, but that was kind of strange. <clears throat> Since I've already got a motherboard tray, it makes more sense to actually put in all the components and then slide the motherboard tray in. So that means I'm gonna put the GPU in and then the sound card in and as long as well as the memory. All right, I've got the motherboard, I've got the GPU in now, I've got the sound card in, and really, um, oh, I'm missing the memory, that's right. Just gotta get the memory in. So these are Corsair Dominator Platinums. Uh, these are the RGB version and so this is going to be 64 gigabytes of DDR 3600 CL18s and since I've only got four DIMMs I'm going to have to only populate the ones from the outside. All right then I've got all the memory in and 
the main components are basically in, so it's just, it's time to slide it into this case. I'm not gonna lie, the color scheme turned out much better than I thought it would. You know, I was actually debating between the Plexi uh, CPU block versus the full, full nickel CPU block, which I've got here. And I'm actually pretty glad that I went with the full nickel CPU block because the nickel matches the shiny chrome of the motherboard and the matte black matches the memory and the GPU and all the other components and really, because I've got the Bits Power Black Sparkle fittings, that kind of matches with the CPU block as well. So I'm really happy with the color and the design choice. To be honest, mounting of the fans and the radiators into the computer is probably the most time consuming part of this build because of so many fans and so many screws. And these radiators are actually pretty heavy. So uh, in terms of effort, I think 80% of the effort is already behind us and all that's left to do is just to pipe it up and tube it up which uh, involves cutting some glass and uh, you know designing the runs and just like that the motherboard tray makes this computer look so much more complete with the motherboard and the computer and the memory and the gpu all attached to the motherboard all that's left to be done is the glass tubing and the wiring and basically this computer is complete now, if you wanna see how I cut glass tubing and how we do the tubing of the water cooling stuff, make sure to check out the next video and perhaps subscribe if you wanna know when that goes live. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.